thing is, I done seen a bunch of videos and people using them waffle canned biscuits, waffling them on the counter to open them up. Uh, Southern Outdoors did a video which it looked good with the deep fried biscuits, but he used them canned biscuits. And then Kelly Cooks Texas used them canned biscuits, so we showing it ain't that hard to make real biscuits. We don't do no waffle canned biscuits. If Kelly Cook Texas keep doing that, we're going to have to call her Kelly Cooks and we're going to pull her Texas card for using them damn canned biscuits. So anyway, that's what we're doing today. All right, starting out is just two and a half cups of self-rising flour, one stick of butter. We're going to mix that up with a little fancy mixer. You can cut it up, stick it in there in chunks, and normally you put buttermilk with a mild buttermilk, so I'm using regular milk. Normally, like I said, I put buttermilk I forgot it at the house. So we're just doing a shot of milk. You can use heavy whipping cream. And we're just gonna mix that up and get our dough going. All right, normally you put about three quarters of a cup to a cup of milk, get it all mixed up like you like it. I use a stick because I don't like getting it all over my hands. Uh, but you can do it with your hand. And we're just gonna get flour on the hand, knead that out. Fold it over a couple times. It's got that regular flour on there that helps make the layers. Then we go cut it out. I always just use a coffee cup. I just take a coffee cup, cut me out a biscuit. Normally they say don't spin them. Wrong reason I put a tempo on the bottom so it's easier to clean the bottom. Start putting them around there. You can always melt some butter in the bottom. Kind of cook the bottom a little bit. All right, we got them all lined up in there. Now we're going to put the heat to them. How right, I put uh, a few coals on the bottom. Got it on the trivet. Put most of the coals on top. There ain't as much on the bottom. There's not enough heat. I can always adjust it later. I took all the heat off the top. You can see they plenty done on top. All right, on the sausage, I'm out of my Katie Bar beef sausage. We're using some pork sausage. And no, you cannot substitute it. You can use ground beef, but you cannot substitute it with ground turkey or ground chicken. No, that's just nasty. The biscuits are done. Now we're doing the finishing up on the gravy. I put about a cup of flour in there and we're gonna cook the flour taste out of it. Now we cooked all that flour down real good. We're gonna slowly start adding a little milk to it. We got it about where we want it. Cook it down, it's a little thin right now. We're just gonna keep cooking it till it thickens back up. So there's my biscuits, there's my gravy, and it ain't in a can of waffle biscuits. Kelly, that's how you cook biscuits and gravy, big boy style, and there ain't no waffle in a can of biscuits. I can't believe you don't make real biscuits. Hope y'all have a great evening. We fixing to enjoy some good food. The biscuits and gravy look mighty good.